Morning, happy new year 2016. For those of you out there have had a rough year in 2015, just remember this is a new page. You know, get that pen, ink pen out and start writing your new chapter. Take all the lessons you learned from all your previous chapters. Don't repeat the things that cause you unnecessary pain and suffering from your previous chapters and continue your story. So, you know, as you know, I'm a parent. I have a, a three-year-old and a five-year-old. And uh, I'm still learning what it's like to be a parent. I'm still trying to accept it and, you know, blend into the responsibilities that comes with it to be a good one. The way I see it is, you know, I'm already a parent now. No matter where I go, where I hide and where I run, I'm always gonna be a parent. Because I created life. And as long as they're alive, I'm a parent. And I have this tendency to try to be the best at everything that I do, that I like, that I am. So, why not become the best parent I could possibly be, right? On my terms, of course. Not what society or the world thinks best parent is. But I'm going to do the best for my children, the best I can. Um, to help them achieve greater than I've ever achieved. And learn faster than I've ever learned. And give them the strength that I wish I had growing up. You know, so hopefully this is what every parent would want for their child. But they're teaching me a lot. So I would share an experience with you that was very phenomenal. It happened today. It's the reason why I turned this video on. It's like January 5th today. Huh? So I was kind of, had an argument with my wife the night before. And, you know, heated emotional you know the heated emotional splurs that burst out every now and then about a past incident or a past pain um, that you both share and it comes up and it just, just destroys your whole mood you know and even though you have logically resolved the situation and the conversation and um, she's perfectly fine afterwards I still feel really down and bummy and just trying to shake the mood even though the logic is already there there's no need to feel that way right this is how we are as humans. So, you know, I, I, I reached out to my wife. I texted her. Because my mood made me feel mad, you know, destructive. I don't want to be in this space. So I sent an SOS to her, a text message. I needed some help with my mood. And uh, she did what she could to try to cheer me up and make me feel good. And it helped a little bit, helped me go to bed. But in the morning, I woke up and I still kind of felt that mood lingering. Like, ugh. And it's... When the mood is bad, it affects everything in your life. It affects your performance, your outlook on life. You know, going to work, thinking about being successful, thinking about making money, none of that stuff was on my mind. I was like, oh, just die, just die. But something interesting happened. Um, I came out of the room after getting dressed and everything, and my son, my three-year-old, he was at the dinner table waiting for his breakfast. So I was like, all right, I'm out of here. That's another day. I'm going to go make some money because I, I try to make them aware of why I'm leaving and identify it clearly so they can understand the purpose of it. The, the work brings the money. The money brings the things that we have, our food, our shelter, our toys. And if we don't have the money, we won't have these things. <clears throat> I try to teach them early. So they're very, very uh, accepting of us going to work at the age they're at right now. They don't cry. They don't whine. They actually like see, see us off. So he tells me, goodbye, daddy. Paka, paka. And I was like, whoa, whoa. You know that word? And of course, he's half Russian, half Jamaican. And his grandma, Babushka, Babushka means grandma. She's been teaching him, you know, Russian lessons every single morning, dedicated with love and care. Just teaching him and teaching both of them, actually. And it's so surprising to see the results. You know, he's just casually telling me goodbye in English and then he changes it to Russian real fast <clears throat> I ask them I like to play a game with them and every game that I play with them I try to teach them something or instill a belief in them that would put them in overdrive so <clears throat> I figured that's how children learn so I said oh wow cool you know that word huh paka paka he says yes uh, that's a uh, Russian I was like, ah, oh, so you have two powers. You have two languages powers. You can speak Russian and you could speak English. Wow, two powers. 
I said, wait a second. I think you have three powers. You have Jamaican fire. Because he always calls himself fire. Fast. Fire. He's a fire sign. And Aries, just like that. Go Aries. Anyway, uh, so... I was like, oh, yeah, you have three powers. Fire from Jamaica. Yeah, you got Russia. And you have English. He's like, yeah, but... I'm going to have thousand powers. He got so serious and he just got sinister and looked at me and he says, I'm going to get thousand powers. I was like, whoa, not three powers. You're going to have a thousand powers. Yeah. So I was like, wow, okay. He's thinking big. That's what's up. I gave him his credit for it. And I was like, wait a second. Are you going to get more powers than daddy? He's like, yeah. I was like, all right. All right, challenge accepted. I'll see you there. Can't wait till you get there. Man, this guy, that little interruption completely reminded me of why I'm working hard, why I'm making things work out with my wife, why I'm building a strong relationship for longevity and success and known failures, learning from my failures. In that small little brief moment, he gave me all the, the reminders I needed to know for my purpose and why I exist. My mood just got shattered. My uh, enthusiasm burst through the ceiling and just like overdrive. I felt so charged and pumped up walking out that door like, wow, holy crap. <laughs> okay, so that's some of the advantages of being a parent, a loving parent, you know. You get a fuel and energy from your children. You get a drive that's almost like unmeasurable. Because in life, it's easy for you to, 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 to get stuck in a bad mood, to get stuck in resentment, and to get stuck in guilt and pain. You can get trapped there for a long time like a prison sentence. But it's only the love of other people and the appreciation and, and the responsibilities you have to them, to care for them and be a good person for them. is an incredible source of energy. So that's what I wanted to share with you this morning. And uh, um, Happy New Year's from Rush Making Life. You'll be seeing more of us online. Uh, we'll have more of our material that we're going to be releasing little by little for 2016. It's going to be big. 